Look, I'll try to be brief. I, I know I can ramble about these sorts of things, and I know how important your time is to you, how busy you are. You know, how could you not be? This is a portion of time in which you exist, which is dwarfed by all the time you spent and will spend not existing. I, I just... I mean, I know film is as limited as any medium, but I, I want to say a few things. I'll try to keep it short and painless, or you know, as painless as anything that exists can be. And there's a sort of terrifying and wonderful pain in everything, though, in, in existing, in knowing that things are, you are, and that's a pain you'll probably have to sit through for a while. It's a pain excruciating because it requires an awareness of the various aspects of being that dart across us. Small emotions, larger ones, the passing of time, memory and loss. And, and there's just so much, and that hurts too. I could make a film about any one thing, and the weight of everything else would hang around the projection, would take up the black space surrounding the screen. That one thing is made smaller, filtered through me, through the flatness of the screen, through your eyes. I could make a film about loss or human loneliness or, dear God, even myself, and it would be anchored only by the constancy of me. Would you be closer to understanding my experiences? Would you be closer to me? Hmm. Would I even be able to contain any one thing against the weight of everything else, distorted by the two of us, me filtering, selecting, you viewing, filtering? These things are so large and yet even they escape me. Even if I could steal something from reality, there's just so much and, and film is as dishonest as we are and the real stays real and stays moving and stays out of my grip. We're trapped in a constant present and just as the world moves from us, we are given more. We are so limited by location and senses and lifespans, but even within those limitations, there is so much, it's, it's dizzying. Things are beyond our sensing. I mean, can you imagine really memorizing? Even a pixel, an atom, a grain, knowing it forever, or, is, or simply outside of that second of encounter. Or just a feature of it, the color. Even when you forget color as a variable, even then, texture, shape, the delicacies of a, of a line. There's so much detail in everything, too. Too much for even science to know, and, and way too much for us to know. We perceive just enough to be aware. My senses feel small around the existence of everything. It's like, I can sense the tide, but not the tidal wave. Or maybe it's the other way around. It's, it's kind of thrilling how confusing everything is, but... Oh, sorry, I, I'm getting off topic. Back to the point. Human eyes function by cutting frames during movement, giving the blur of suggested information, because otherwise, movement would be too much for our senses. We don't even notice anything's missing. Our bodies actually have to remove sensation so that we can function. Sometimes I miss the pitches my ears lose when they ring, even though I'd never know the difference. I wonder what it would be like if the eye remembered everything. I want to focus on the tones in the white noise. I want words that match all these things I feel and know and see. I, wa I want to map the world in images and forgotten dialects. But even then, it wouldn't be enough. Film is as unreliable as memory, and every moment there is a mourning for the instantaneous loss of everything, and wonderment anew because of everything that is, now slightly different, in this moment. I wonder what you've missed since you've been in here watching this. Doesn't matter, you'll never get it back. But I just, I wish I could replace it with something you'd missed before this, but film doesn't contain existence, it simply adds to the mass. It's not a documentation of pre preservation, it's just more. Even as an illusion or an alteration of reality, film distances itself. Try to touch a projection, your hand goes right through. Try to touch a movie and the screen blocks you. It's As much as I attempt to recreate, at most I can represent, and it will always be distorted. Can you feel the wind? Is the pit of your stomach dropping with a swing? No. And yet, I so deeply want you to feel that. It's great and terrifying, really. I fall in love with experiences and objects and the right lighting, and so do you, and we're constantly being heartbroken at the irredeemable loss of everything transitory, <laughs> which is everything, and, and none of our symbols or sentences or photographs can stop it. I love it all, I, I want it all, and I want to share it all with you. I, I feel the loss of it, and it hurts like other losses. I, I'm overwhelmed by, the, by, the, by this grief, by a sadness for everything that I'll never know. You know a life can only contain so much. The rarity of everything that somehow is, and the near impossibility of, of even myself, or maybe especially myself, is something too great to feel. My body understands what my mind merely knows. I can't imagine trying to express that longing or sadness or desire or beauty or whatever it is. How ridiculous would it be to try to make a film about that? It would probably be kind of cheesy. 
a self-indulgent mess, and I doubt it would make sense. All the problems expected of a love letter. I, I don't think I could do it.